the DS Lite Play Stand. It's a third party DS stand made by Hori in 2006. I'm assuming at least because that's what it has printed on there. Don't really know much about it though, other than that it's great for desktop gaming and allows you to adjust for eight different angles of uh, gameplay. I found this thing at a Goodwill and um, it was really cheap. It was like two bucks, so I figured I might as well pick it up because, uh, you know, I always like fun and kind of strange things like this and. Uh, yeah, I might be able to get some good use out of it because uh, it's actually pretty cool. It'll let you do the vertical. That's kind of interesting, you know, like it always seemed like kind of an annoying thing. And then also, I mean, you could consider this basically to be a precursor to the 3DS stand that had that little, you know, joystick on the side or whatever. I mean, there's a lot of different angles and stuff. So this thing is actually pretty cool. I could see myself using it. I haven't honestly sat down and really used it for like a long session for three or my DS because it's not like I really sit down and play DS Lite all that often. But yeah. Without further ado, let's go ahead and open it up and, uh, you know, give it a try and see how it looks. Overall, it looks pretty good for a thrift store find. The box itself kind of looked like it was cigarette damage or something kind of yellowy or whatever, but everything else looks like it was pretty much unused. I mean, it still has the little, uh, you know, spacers or whatever for the DS Lite because you could take those out and uh, it would make it so you could, like, use the fat. Yeah, in like perfect condition honestly so I mean I don't have a fat DS that's one of the things that I want to get next but I would totally trust it out and see if it would work but anyways yeah you know having little pieces like that when you find something at a thrift store is actually really rare because people have used it or anything pretty common for stuff like that to just get thrown or lost or you know I mean sometimes people are only taking it to a thrift store because they're missing something like that so they can't even use it you know take my DS light in there and go ahead and try it out um when I was filming this, I wasn't wearing a shirt, so I kind of had to cut the footage out where I like put it all the way down because you could just totally see my chest and everything. And yeah, but lost some footage there, but still uh, pretty cool. I could see myself totally getting used to and using this and like having a, you know, just some nice time where it, your hand doesn't get as tired. Because I mean, honestly, that's kind of why I put handheld gaming kind of down for a while because it's just too much. I, I can't deal with it. And the screens are so small. That's one downside that, you know, the Switch kind of solves for me too because it's big seven inch screen you know seven uh whatever the oled is but yeah pretty cool pretty pretty cool if i was gonna do like a retro pokemon sesh like i could totally see myself getting down on this thing or you know if you're trying to do like a, a camera based streaming thing another great you know option and then uh yeah it said on there to uh you know read the instruction manual before using but i'm a bad boy so I decided to take it out that afterwards in case you were wondering that it was in there. Yeah, this is, thing is a complete and total CIB pretty much when it comes down to it. I don't know what it actually came with because there's not really much documentation for this online. But yeah, playing around with this, I didn't know what the hell was going on with it. I was like, why does that uh, come off? You know, and I realized, oh, because that's how you do the vertical thing. I literally almost forgot to test it. That's one of the main features to this thing. But I was confused at first. I was like, what the hell? But yeah, so it's kind of a, a smart mechanism. You just take it off and slide it onto there. I mean, it's less likely to break when you have something that's like moving and changing. You know, you kind of just adjust it yourself and mod that. And yeah, pretty, pretty interesting. Pretty, pretty cool. Once again, I had to kind of cut that footage up because you could totally just see my, you know, chest region. But uh, I could see this being very useful. Like, you're going to watch something on your DS. Yeah, I could totally see, like, you know, yeah, be quite useful. Quite, quite useful. But. Yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, just a small video. Check this out. Go ahead and like, subscribe, all that stuff, and uh, yeah.